given. Now we will take up the law of conservation of momentum. This is what we did. Momentum of a body of mass m moving with velocity v is defined as p is equal to me. Mass times velocity, this is the momentum of a body. And then we have also done that force is mass into change in velocity divided by time or this we also call as change in momentum p2 minus p1 upon t mv is final momentum mu is the initial momentum i can write even that step okay mv minus mu upon t this is newton's second law this is p2 minus p1 upon t this is the time in which the momentum changes from P1 to P2. This is the Newton's second law. Now, whenever force is acting on a body, its momentum will change. That's the meaning of it. If F is zero, means there is no force acting on <coughs> the body. So P2 minus P1 will be zero. Cross multiply, zero into two is zero. So it means P2 is equal to P1. What does it mean? If force is zero, momentum is constant. So, if I am defining it for a particle, when there is no force acting on the particle, its momentum remains constant. And when we are talking about for a body, when there is no external force, then the momentum of the body remains constant. <coughs> Actually, this is what we studied in first law. What is the first law? Newton's first law, law of inertia, that the body at rest will remain at rest. A body moving with constant speed will continue to move with that speed. It will continue <coughs> to move in the same direction. <coughs> so it means velocity will not change. And velocity will not change, so momentum will also not change if we take the mass constant of the body. So momentum of a body does not change if there is no external unbalanced force onto it. We have done that in that law. The same thing here. Momentum of the body will remain constant if there is no external force acting on the body. So P2 is equal to P1. We can take certain examples to study this properly. The same example which I gave you in Newton's third law. This is a bullet and fired from gun. What is the initial momentum? Initial momentum means when the bullet is inside the gun. It is at rest. I am holding a gun and the bullets are inside. Zero uh, speed of the bullet, zero speed of the gun. So it is zero. The momentum of the gun plus the momentum of the bullet, it is zero. Okay, after firing, the momentum will be. See, since the force is zero, we are not applying any external force, this is an internal force, this applies a force onto it, this will apply a force onto it, net force on these two combined will be zero. So the momentum should remain zero even after that. So after firing the momentum of the bullet plus gun and gun, it should be zero even after that. So when can it happen? bullet is moving now. If I take what is the momentum of bullet after firing, 
it is mass of the bullet momentum is m2 into the velocity of the bullet what about momentum of gun momentum of gun velocity of gun gun should come in this direction when the bullet is fired in forward direction the reason is we want that the total momentum should also be zero after firing because it was zero before firing it is a quantity which needs direction so it means momentum of bullet in this direction and momentum of gun in this direction they should be equal then the resultant will become zero just like force 10 newton in this direction plus 10 newton in this direction the net force is zero so it means whatever momentum bullet acquires in forward direction the gun acquires equal momentum in opposite direction to keep the total momentum zero so mass of bullet velocity of bullet it is equal to mass of gun velocity of gun but with a minus sign so the plus if I add them plus it is zero so momentum before firing momentum after firing this is zero so it gives us that whatever momentum this has this will have equal momentum in the opposite direction total momentum is zero the same explanation can be given identical explanation when a person jumps from a boat when it is close to the river bank so if a person jumps on the river bank what will happen now again initially if the person is inside the boat and suppose the boat is at rest so momentum is zero so even after jumping the momentum should remain zero because nobody is there to apply external force onto it so whenever the person jumps out, the person acquires certain momentum, the boat will acquire equal momentum in opposite direction. Only external forces can change the momentum of the system. Internal forces, the momentum of man can change, the momentum of bullet can, uh, the momentum of boat can change, but the total momentum will not change. So whatever momentum one particular body acquires in one direction, another will acquire equal momentum in opposite. So a net becomes zero. Okay, now, in this particular principle, law of conservation of momentum, I am taking collision. There are And this is after collision. M1 is moving towards M2. They collide. And then after collision, the velocity will change. The first one say its velocity becomes V1. The second one its velocity becomes V2. Okay. So this applies some force onto it. And this applies equal force onto this. Newton's first law, we know... Newton's third law, sorry, law of action and reaction. F12, force on 1 due to 2. F21, force on 2 due to 1. Force on 1 due to 2. When they collide, this applies some force onto it. This applies equal force onto it. Newton's third law, action and reaction. And what this force is, how do we calculate the force? We know force is mass. V minus U by T. So I will use this. Force on 1. M1. V1 minus U1 upon T. And what is the force on 2? Due, due to 1. M2. V2. Right? This is Newton's third law, whatever force this will apply onto it, this will apply equal force onto it in opposite direction. So I have used Newton's third law. And then second law, F is mv minus u by t. So I have m1 force on 1. What is the 
velocity of the first body after collision v1 velocity of the first body before collision u1 and same for u2 now tt cancel out it becomes m1 v1 minus m1 u1 is equal to minus m2 v2 plus m2 u2 clear yes now let me take like terms on one side momentum after collision on one side and momentum before collision on one side so m1 v1 let me bring this m2 v2 and take this on this side so m1 u1 plus m2 u2 now see this expression observe it carefully what is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 m1 v1 momentum of it after collision m2 v2 momentum of this after collision m1 u1 momentum of first body before collision m2 u2 momentum of second body before collision total momentum before collision equals total momentum after collision and there is no external force this is the internal force this applies force onto it this applies force onto it so again we can write it principle of conservation of momentum says that if there is no external force acting on a system then the total momentum remains constant okay that's it from this topic mm -hmm.